Hello there, Fro here again on your weekly football picks video. Uh, recap in week one and uh, moving on to week two. Let's see here. We went 11 and 5 for the first week. And when, you know, week one's always a crapshoot, and especially this year, there's no preseason and COVID and all that shit. It's an especially harder crapshoot. 11 and 5, I'll take it. Although one of those games was my Colts, I got wrong, but we'll get to that. Houston at Kansas City. I picked Kansas City to win, and they won 34 20. I'm going to say here, uh, Houston looks like they're missing Hopkins, and Hopkins did, did pretty well in Arizona, but we'll get to that when we get to that game. But uh, Kansas City is a better team. They're one of the top two, if not the top one, teams in the league. So, uh, yeah, got that one right. Seattle at Atlanta, I picked Seattle when they won 38-25. You know, Atlanta put up some points. Matt Ryan had a bunch of yards, but Russell was just unbelievable as usual and, you know, tore it up they, and uh, got that one right. Seattle's, Seattle's a good team. If they actually let Russell Wilson keep playing like that and let him actually throw the ball, you know, more, more than they run the ball a game, uh, look for them to be even better offense this year. <clears throat> the Jets at Buffalo. Pick Buffalo to win. They won 27-17. Not much to say here. The Jets are a bottom three team in the league. Their offense is pathetic. Their offense is basically James and Crowder, and that's it. Chicago at Detroit. I picked Chicago to win this game, and Chicago came back basically all in the fourth quarter and won this game 27-23. Although the Lions still should have won this. The rookie DeAndre Swift had a touchdown, clank off his hands in the end zone with like six seconds left. and uh, You hate to see that, for especially for a rookie in his first game. He had a chance to be, be the hero. and uh, Well, see how he bounces back, back from that. But uh, Chicago won this game. Credit to Trubisky. He finally played well in the fourth quarter, but God, he was awful in the first three quarters. He got himself, his leash got slightly longer for before they put Foles in going forward. Green Bay, Minnesota, I picked Green Bay to win. They won 43-34. Aaron Rodgers is still great. I don't know why people, people think that he uh, regressed last year or anything, but Green Bay has a good team. As long as people stay healthy, they have a good chance of making the Super Bowl this year, I think, in the NFC. So I got that one right. Miami, New England, picked New England to win. They won 21-21. Or, yeah, 21-21. 21-11. Uh, Cam looked good, you know, running the ball. I mean, he didn't do, do much passing the ball, but he looks spry and looked like he's, you know, in good enough shape and healthy enough to be running the ball a lot. So, New England's going to be an interesting team to watch. That defense is still very much legit, and the new uh, crinkle to their offense with the uh, running of the quarterback. <laughs> Excuse me. And uh, Miami side, Fitz, Fitz Magic was uh, Fitz Tragic this game. So, yeah. Their offense didn't do shit. Philadelphia at Washington. I picked Philadelphia to win, and they were winning 17 nothing. And then Washington went on to score 27 on answer points. I, I mean, Washington's defense, they got some good players. And just the Eagles lost this game because their offensive line is just in shambles of injuries. And Wentz was get what, he got sacked like eight times, something like that. Got hit like probably 15 times. I, I mean, the game was on the same time the Colts were on, so I didn't get to watch it, you know, like, I, like, I didn't get to watch it like a hawk, you know, so I just, I was like leaning lean, lean over every once in a while when the Colts were in commercial and stuff, but from what I saw, Wentz was getting hit all the time. I mean, you guys should be able to bounce back from this, hopefully get Lane Johnson back and stuff and get some some sort of semblance in the offensive line, but credit to Washington, they're in first place in the division, and enjoy it while it lasts, because I don't think it'll last very long. Uh, the Las Vegas Raiders, still does not sound right, had the Panthers. I picked the Raiders to win, they won 34-30. It was a good game. I didn't get to see much of it, but, you know, both offenses played well. Both defenses did not play well. And, uh, good for the Raiders. The, their offense got to keep scoring a lot of points to, to make up for that, uh, their, their defense. Josh Jacobs looked really good. He's a, he's a true workhorse. So they got a good, a good young running back there to, to uh, build around. Uh, we'll skip the Colts game for now. Cleveland, Baltimore, picked Baltimore to win. They went 38-6. I guess you were right, Ricky. I should have picked uh, Cleveland to score a few points because they did. But my God, Cleveland looks like shit. Baker looks like, like garbage. And Baltimore is who, who I thought they were. They're a very good team. Top top two team in the fucking AFC. You know, top three team in the NFL probably. Let's see what Baltimore can do to do playoff time. But during the regular season, they are still a great team. And, yeah, they dominated. Chargers at Cincinnati. I picked the Bengals to win. They lost 16-13. Bengals had this game. They had a touchdown to AJ Green, but they called offense pass interference, which, you know, it was. And then they had a chance to tie it with a field goal, and the guy hurt, 
hurt himself, but you know, maybe that was just him faking it because he fucking shanked it. Shanked the field goal and they lost by three. I mean, all things considered, Cincinnati gave it a good shot, but, you know, Burrow played well enough. I mean, he had one bonehead interception in the fourth quarter, but other than that, you know, considering that Chargers actually have a really good defense, you know, even without uh, Derwood James, they still have awesome corners, a great pass rush. Their defense is legit, and Tyron Taylor might be the perfect quarterback for them. He'll, you know, he won't lose you the game. He's not going to win you the game, but he's he's a very good game manager. So they might be perfect for them. But Charger got that win. <sighs> the Tampa Bay fucking Brady's versus the Saints at New Orleans. I picked the Saints to win. They won 34-23. It wasn't even that close. The, the, it, it should be like a three-score game, but they got a touchdown late in garbage time, basically. Uh, even with Breeze not playing that great, just, you know, they, they did enough on offense, and their defense played well, and Brady threw a pick six. I'm just, eh. Brady looks like what I thought I thought he would look like. Not very good. Sailing some throws. You know, he has no mobility. I'm, I'm sorry. I just don't see it. Even with those, all those weapons, I just, you know, I know the Saints are a pretty good defense, and I'm sure Brady will still have great games, because... He has enough weapons, and they're going to have to score. But, yeah. Arizona, San Francisco. I picked San Francisco to win. They lost. And Arizona won 24-20, so I got that one wrong. Uh, Kyle Murray, man. Looks like the real deal. That run he had for a touchdown was fantastic. I mean, Hopkins got 14 catches for like 150 yards, and hit, he hit him early and often. Arizona's going to be an interesting team to watch this year. If that defense can play, you know, keep playing decent, and the offense keeps getting better and better, watch out for them. You never know. Dallas at the Rams. Uh, I don't even know why I'm saying that for these games, because these games, some of these games, most of these games have no fans or very little fans, so there's, like, no home field advantage anyway. But regardless, Dallas at the Rams. I picked uh, Dallas to win, and they lost 20-17. That's what I get for picking a Dallas against a team that, you know, is, has a chance to make the playoffs. Dallas had a chance to, you know, tie this to win, win the late and just, not, just didn't, couldn't do it. Uh, Rams did enough. You know, they had a good game plan. They gave the ball out of golf's hands quick and stuff. I don't know what to make of them. They might, they can make the playoffs this year, but I don't know. I think either of these teams, their best bet is a wild card. I just, I just don't see either of them winning their division. Pittsburgh at the Giants picked Pittsburgh to win. They won 26-16. You know, the Giants get us interesting for a while, and one boneheaded play were, well, it was a great play by the Steelers player to hit uh, Daniel Jones, but I don't know what he was thinking, trying to run to his left, throw it back across the middle to the, to the right, and threw a pick on a 19-play drive and got zero points out of it. But Pittsburgh's defense is still legit. Uh, Big Ben, you know, he, he picked up the pace after and the more the game went on. They're going to be a team, team that has a good chance to make the playoffs. It's going to be tough for them to win that division from Baltimore, but they should definitely be a wild card team at the very least, especially with the expanded playoffs. Tennessee at Denver picked Tennessee to win. He won 16-14 in spite of one of the most pathetic kicking performances ever by Goskowski. They, uh, he finally made the one that mattered after missing three field goals and an extra point. Uh, ah, they still should replace him, but... He'll probably, he'll probably keep his job just because he freaking made the game winner. Uh, both these teams played really good defense. Uh, offense is did enough. You know, just it's the kind of game I expected. A low scoring, close game. The Tennessee, you know, they should have more points, obviously, because all the missed field goals. But it is what it is. They got the win. I got the one right. And the Colts game in the week. I should, you know, after this game ended, I was very irritated. I. And, you know, as usual, I just re reacted emotionally and posted on Facebook stuff about how this team pissed me off and shit. Basically just, oh, reaction, you know, oh, reaction to week one like a lot of people do. And I should know better. The Colts have lost, like, seven straight week one games, uh, go, including this year now. And we have we haven't won in Jacksonville since, like, 2015 or something like that. So it's, I should have just looked at trends. For some reason, Jacksonville always plays as tough. Even if they're good or bad, if they're good or bad team, they, they always play as tough. It's one of those division rival things that... Just happens, especially at Jacksonville. But I'll, you know, I'll save judgment on Rivers and everybody else until I see more of it. Rivers, you know, he played well, but 
you know, just like three or four plays where he just made absolute boneheaded decisions and led the picks. Should have had three picks, but he had two picks. Yeah. Don't even get me started on defense. I'm so sick of this cover two, Tampa two bullshit where they play, they just give the soft coverage and you just complete passes over the middle and short passes all day and, and just pick you apart. Hence why Minshew has had like five incompletions against us in the last two games, including going 19 for 20 this past game. I like Minshew and all, but he, he shouldn't be going 19 for 20. I'm so sick of it. We have a defensive line now. Who still, who, despite, you know, going back and look at it, they played well. We had four sacks. You know, we got pressure when we could actually get there, but the, there wasn't, you know, Michigan had like the fastest time to throw in the NFL this past week because they were throwing short passes all day because we weren't covering them. We were playing soft coverage. I can't stand that shit. If, if the defense keeps playing like that, Iberflus, the defense coordinator, needs to go ASAP. But anyway, like I said, 11 5 week one. Move right on to week two so this video doesn't go on for too, too long. So, boy, the Ohio, the Ohio battle. Cincinnati at Cleveland. I think, man, a Thursday night game between these shit, shit shows. I think Cleveland wins this game just because they should. I think they'll bounce back from a hard performance. I still think they're pretty, pretty bad team, but at home against Cincinnati. Yeah, looking for them to win. It's a Thursday night game in this weird year. It's crapshoot. Giants at Chicago. Uh, Chicago's defense is uh, probably may not as good as Pittsburgh anymore, but they are still one of the top three, five defense in the league. Look for Chicago to win this game. Atlanta, Dallas. <sighs> Man, I think this is going to be a shootout. <laughs> for some reason, I just feel like Atlanta's going to win this game. I don't know why. Look for Atlanta to win that game. Detroit, Green Bay. I have Detroit, you know, they find ways to lose games. They, they, they are really good at snatching defeat from the jaws of victory. And I just think Green Bay has a better team at home, you know, wherever that means this year. Look for them to win. Jacksonville, Tennessee. I think Jacksonville comes cr crashing back down to earth, and Tennessee, you know, their defense is good enough to slow down Minshew. And I think uh, they... They can't have their kicking performance like that. I mean, that, that, they got to make at least two two or three kicks this week. Look for Tennessee to win this game. Say the Colts game for the end. Buffalo at Miami. Buffalo's a better team. Fitzmagic against this Buffalo Bills defense is probably going to look just as bad as week four. But who knows? Fitzmagic or Fitz Tragic, which one will show up? He is either really good or really bad. It's always an adventure with him. San Francisco at the Jets. Oh, yeah, the Jets are or Niners got to look. Look for them to bounce back and win this game handily by like 20 or 30 points. I'll probably be picking the Jets for the fewest points scored this week because that offense is pathetic and against that Niners defense. Good luck. Rams at Philadelphia. Oh, boy. Aaron Donald in that pass rush versus that O-line. I, I, I'm sorry, but in good faith, I just can't pick. Until their O-line shows any semblance of being able to stop anybody, especially against Aaron Donald stuff, they're going to have to like triple team him. Uh, I think the Rams win this game. I'm sorry, but sorry, you Philly fans. Denver, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's a better team. It should be a decent game because they're two good, de two decent enough defenses. Even though Denver doesn't have Von Miller, they still show they can play some good defense. They, you know, kept Henry in check. I know Henry had over 100 yards, but it took him like 31 carries, and they were tackling him. You know, first contact pretty much every time. Carolina, Tampa Bay. Like I said, not too impressed with the Buccaneers this year. I think there's I think they're overhyped like the Eagles dream team for years past. But I think Tampa Bay wins this game. Carolina's not, not that good. I mean Bridgewater looks good and that offense looks fine, but that defense has nothing. And I just think they they, can, they should be able Tampa Bay should be able to handle this game. Washington, Arizona. Now this is an interesting game. Two teams that got big upsets the week one. <sighs> That Washington defense is pretty legit, especially that pass rush. But I think at, at home, whatever that means, like I said, whatever it means this year, Arizona wins this game. Should be a good game, though. Kansas City, the Chargers, I mean, as good as the Chargers defense is, there's no way Tyrod Taylor and God's Green Earth is going to keep both Mahomes in this offense. But for the Chiefs to win this game. Baltimore, Houston. Man, it's a rough early stre uh, stretch for Houston. How to play Kansas City and Baltimore, two best teams in the AFC back to back. I just think Houston had regresses this year. I mean, 
anybody can win the AFC South this year as far as it's going to seem. But Baltimore's going to win this game. I just, yeah. New England at Seattle. Now, this is an interesting game. That defense against what, Russell Wilson, if they let, let him keep playing, let him keep just throwing the ball, stop holding him back and making him do handoffs. You know, it's not like his rookie year and stuff where he got carried by defense. He can actually carry a team now. Let him fucking play. <sighs> hmm. I would not shock me at all if New England won this game, but I think Seattle wins this game. New Orleans at Las Vegas. This should be a good game. I should just be a lot of points this game. But I think the Saints have a decent defense at the very least. The Raiders have no defense. So I think Saints win this game. <coughs> Excuse me. Should be a good game. Though. I think there'd be a lot of points in this game. Predict the scores. No one is in Las Vegas. I think this, like I said, I think this could be a high scoring game. I'm going to say 41 to 30. I think Saints just pull away late. That's, that's what I'm predicting. No, you know, Seattle, man. I think Seattle does enough here. I can see him scoring like 24 points. New England, I just I think their offense could be able to do enough. Give him like 16. Most points this week, probably probably gonna pick the Saints. Although San Francisco against the Jets, uh, I think yeah, I think I just think the Saints. Like I said, it should be, I think it's gonna be a shootout, but. I don't think it's going to be a blowout by any means, but... Fewest points this week? Oh, yeah, the Jets. Against that, against that defense. And to end the week with the Colts game. Indianapolis opening up. They're having their first home opener. <coughs> having their home opener. Sorry. At, against Minnesota. Who just got torched by Rodgers last week. We always seem to play play well after, losing, after we lose a game that we should have won. In the Reich, at least, which I won't even get in the Reich yet because I'm going to give him like a couple more weeks at least. But I'm starting to get irritated with Reich too, and just the whole organization whole. If it keeps trending in this direction, it will really show just how good Peyton Manning and Andrew Luck were because this franchise without those two over the past, since I've been a fan, is nothing. Absolutely nothing. They have carried the teams, and that's why that's there's no reason why I think Peyton Manning is the greatest of all time because. Indianapolis probably wouldn't even be in Indianapolis anymore if it wasn't for him. Any hoot, I think we can win this game. The defense has to play better. We have to actually try to cover people within 5-10 to 10 yards of the line instead of just playing soft-ass coverage. It's like we're playing prevent defense the entire game. I can't stand it. we got we got uh, some elite D linemen now and stuff and fucking great linebacker in core. Let them play. Stop, stop the Tampa 2 bullshit. Look for Colson in this game. But if they lose, look forward to me being very angry for next week's recap. But uh, that's it for this week. Thanks, for as always, for watching. Catch you guys next week. Enjoy football. While it lasts, you never know what this year if it's going to end. And, uh, you know, I'm not even going to say it. I'm not even going to say the, the bad word to the Patriots anymore. God bless. Love you all. Peace out.